Hello and welcome to my channel, all of you. Today, we're going to be talking about a DD30 engine with fuel problems. Uh, well, I mean, you can hear the sound that this DD13 engine is making. Uh, that is a very very loud sound, very weird, very uh, scary sound and the problem with this uh, situation is that the engine is, is not running fine, I mean the engine doesn't perform the proper way, it doesn't uh, do its thing and you know like it's gonna cause problems over the road. As it is uh, when you connect the computer and you start checking the readings, there is something that is not normal. The reading is not the way it's supposed to be. And um, that is not the way the fuel system has to work. Uh, of course, there is something that is not right. And that's the reason why the engine is not working fine. Uh, well, I mean, like uh, in, in, in situations like this, you have to investigate, you have to go through a uh, um, sensors or components but in this case uh, since we have a lot of experience on DD13s, DD15 uh, engines uh, we decided to go ahead and, uh, and replace the uh, rail pressure sensor and uh, as soon as we replace the sensor uh, well I mean we, we remove the sensor, well, I mean, in this case, but there was nothing wrong physically with the sensor. The sensor was fine, it didn't have any type of defect or any type of um, uh, physical malfunction that we can visually see. Uh, uh, well, I mean, we stole a used sensor and they uh, just to see how it was. And after uh, we did install the used sensor, well, the engine ran fine. This is what tells you that sometimes sensors can fail anytime. In this case, this is the rail pressure sensor, and this DD13 had a major failure because of the rail pressure sensor. And the reason why the failure was so large is because the rail pressure sensor is the one that reads the pressure that the engine is uh, producing. So if the pressure is not right, uh, I mean, the, the reading of the pressure is not right, the computer is going to tell the pump to build up the pressure or to dump the pressure, and that's when the engine is not going to, it's going to be left, right, left, right, like going up, down, no power, power, checking your light on, checking your light off, like that, because there is no stability on the pressure. One sensor can stall your engine completely, but it's just because it is one of the most important sensors, the rail pressure sensor. Um, well, I mean, there is ways, I mean, uh, how to determine that, as you could see, the first thing to do is by checking the pressure and see how the pressure is working. If you see and the pressure is not uh, in one, in the number it should be, and it's a different number while the engine is off or while the engine is running, you can, you can compare that by seeing the requested pressure and the actual pressure and that's where you're gonna see the difference and that's when you can tell the difference but the major problem is that if you are on the road and this problem happens to you there's nothing you can do i mean what you wanna do it's not like you have a spare 
credit pressure sensor on your pocket, right? It's nothing like that. So the most uh, expected thing to happen is then you are going to have a broken down truck somewhere. So um, to prevent this problem, well, I will just say then regardless of the mileage of the truck, you replace the sensor replace the sensor so that way you can replace I mean re prevent the problem from happening because if you don't the problem can happen to you anytime real pressure sensor is one of the most important sensor of the fuel system and the whole engine just as it is the timing sensor timing sensors are very important without the timing sensors the engine doesn't start but without the real pressure sensor the engine doesn't start either so that is the reason why the real pressure sensor needs to be in a healthy condition and also the real pressure sensor also is in contact with constant high pressure so that pressure the pressure in the sensor reads is a very high pressure so it's obvious then the pressure the sensor is going to go bad because it is with a constant high pressure we're talking about a a 5,000 psi, 6,000, 20,000 psi, depending on the year of the D15 engine. That's how much pressure you want to have. The sensor itself, when it comes to the sensor, uh, it doesn't vary much uh, on uh, on regardless of the year. So you can have a 2010 uh, D15 engine. And you, you can then then you can have a 2019 D15 engine, and both use the same sensor. It doesn't change at all. The sensor is just the same. Hasn't changed much. There is many minimal things. Maybe if you install one sensor to another, you're gonna have a, a different reading. Maybe like uh, when the engine is off, you're gonna have like uh, 10 bar in one, and the other one is gonna show show 15 bar. But that's pretty much it. The, 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 they should be a different all the time it's not has to, it doesn't have to be exactly zero when the engine is off but uh yes uh, this is a situation then uh it can happen to anybody and the reason why i decided to do this video is to show you then the engine sounds like like very bad the engine sounds like it's destroying itself and it is nothing serious to be alarmed there's nothing to be concerned about it it is just then you need to know what is the problem and in this case the problem the real pressure sensor but uh if the computer is telling you the fault code of course you go ahead and replace the sensor but if the computer is not telling you anything well we'll look with that you need to start researching as i said before start looking at it and then you're gonna find it out um, but uh, well, uh, if you are a mechanic, probably you're gonna have experience. If you are on an operator, probably you're gonna be broken down on the road. This is happened to you, and that is going to be very, very bad. Um, if uh, the rail pressure for any reason is not being controlled, the engine can suffer damage. And if the engine suffers damage, of course, it's going to be very expensive the repair. So if you are aware that your rail pressure sensor is bad, just don't drive your truck uh, try to fix it fix it on the spot because if you drive it you might have problems that are going to cause very serious uh, a very serious economic impact to your pocket and so just fix it as soon as possible don't drive it or if you are in the middle of nowhere just try to get to a city so that way you can call someone to take a look or try to get the parts and everything if you already know the fault. Uh, but uh, well, it doesn't matter if you do the 13 engine or D16 or D15, still it's going to be the same way the felt is going to present. And in some cases, the engine doesn't even start. In this case, the engine started, so that's good, you know, like we can hear everything. But in some cases, the engine doesn't even do anything, it just like cranks and doesn't do anything. So, uh, well, I mean, I uh, decided to do a video about it, as I said before, to show you that a simple sensor can basically destroy your whole engine, the whole function of your engine. So in order to know if the sensor is a problem, you need a computer. Computer is going to determine if the sensor is good or bad. Well, and 
the computer is going to show you if a sensor is good and bad. It will be up to you to understand the information that the computer is giving you to determine if the sensor is good. But that will be a better explanation. But uh, that is it. That's all I have uh, for you so far when it comes to this uh, uh, TD13 engine failure because of the rail pressure sensor. Very unique, very interesting felt. But, uh, well, I mean, that's the reason why we are here in the shop to see more repairs, more problems, more everything. Uh, that way I can help you to understand about these drugs. I can make more videos, give you more information, and just keep these drugs on the road is my main focus. So, um, hope you like this video. You have any video ideas? Just can comment below. You wanna you wanna send any type of gift or information or or clothing or anything or you wanna sponsor me something like John F. the Colombia did with this T-shirt? Just send it to me and I'll wear it in the next video. No problem. I'll be more than happy as long as it's nothing offensive. I'll wear it. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have a topic to talk about. I have very, very interesting topics coming on, so stay tuned.